All About Symbian and Mobile Industry Review. Yeah, this, this is actually a very exciting time for us. Um, you know, we're releasing 40 million lines of source code. What we estimate is about four and a half billion dollars worth of source code and intellectual property totally open, open source and free to the marketplace for anybody to access and use. We're also doing it um, about four to five months ahead of schedule. We committed to do it in the middle of 2010 and we're dropping out on everybody here in February. That's right. A lot of people assumed this would take something like two, two and a half years. And as you point out, we've done it in about a year since we set up a, our first governance model or council. Well, it's very important for the evolution of Symbian. We're giving people a true opportunity to come in and directly influence the future of mobile. You can come in, access the code, and add and take it any direction you want to. Bring in any type of contribution. So in that context, we think manufacturers, network operators, silicon and technology providers in the Symbian ecosystem will be able to produce just amazing products for consumers. Products that consumers themselves had a role in defining. It, it reduces, in some cases, their overall investment that they would, as individual companies or teams, have to make in product creation because they get to leverage the benefits of everybody else's work and all those other contributions that are added into the code base in an ongoing basis. With that level of code access, um, you really can unleash the creativity uh, of every single developer that's out there for any type of application. And I think we're going to see some just really amazing things. Uh, we've already started to see some some uh, you know really unique types of applications. I think that that type of work is only going to continue with this code access. From what we can tell, it is uh, the largest open source contribution that's ever been made. We've taken what you could call a de facto technology standard um, and a dominant operating system and platform in the smartphone segment of the of the mobile marketplace and completely opened it up and are giving it away to the public to further evolve, grow, use. And uh, again, we just uh, haven't found anything else that's happened at quite that scale before. It has been a long road. I mean, some of the challenges start with just getting the contributions, integrating them into, into a common branch and a new architecture, um, and then just the, the daily building um, of an integration of that code is, is clearly a challenge when you do something like this. Uh, another large challenge is there was a large amount of um, third-party intellectual property from various companies. Um, you know, hundreds of little pieces of third-party code that in some cases we had to go negotiate uh, the right to, to include it um, in, in the uh, EPL distribution under those license terms. And in other cases we had to rip and replace, which again takes a tremendous amount of work um, when you are trying to do that level of integration with all the contributions as well. So, uh, you know, kudos out to the team and all the member companies that, uh, that have helped us get to this point. That's absolutely right. You know, we have a truly open governance model, as you know. Uh, virtually anybody can come in and sit at our working groups, sit on our councils, and directly influence um, you know, the future of where we take this thing. So directly contribute to the roadmap, change it, and, uh, and so forth. And so it's, you know, that combined with this code being openly available, um, we think are, are just, it's going to do some amazing things for, for the marketplace. Stay tuned for more. All about Symbian and Mobile Industry Review.